Thank you so much for being here today and as we uh, celebrate and enjoy our lunch today of a conversation about the arts and culture and humanities here in Douglas County. One of my favorite activities that the libraries have for arts is the Dog River Library has their Arts and Crafts in the Woods Festival yes. the first weekend in November every year and it's just a wonderful, wonderful event to bring in local artists. We, we don't have a lot of the commercial artists, it's more the local handmade items and we've been doing that for six years now. This will be our sixth year coming up and we love it. It's a great community draw, and that's one of my favorite things that we do. You were saying about you know, the importance of arts in the community it reminds me of a, it was a movie that came out just a couple of years ago, and if anybody's, some of you may have seen it, it's called The Monuments Men, mm -hmm. and there was a story of, of this group of soldiers that were uh, trained and specifically sent on a mission during World War II to save the artworks that Hitler and the Nazis had confiscated. They basically had pillaged all these great museums and collections throughout Europe as they took over country after country. Somebody had asked Churchill about you know, why are we wasting manpower to save statues and paintings and, and, and these relics and his, his response was essentially this is our history, this is who we are. Why else are we fighting but for our very culture? Think about that. For a wow. And people were putting their lives in line for, for paintings and sculptures because that's what represented our history. They're not just pieces of marble, they're not just paint on canvas. They're who we are. Right. As I was talking to um, Superintendent North earlier, we were just talking about um, Douglas County and just the different things that we do um, with collaborating um, P, art, and music. It's so, it's so important to um, make sure that we keep the arts in front of our kids because um, with learning, it's, it's phenomenal. I mean, the results, um, just kind of the, the end factor um, with applying arts to education is vitally important. Who do you know that, has, that doesn't, that can't say that there was some piece of, some painting or some movie that they saw or yeah. some piece of poetry or a book yes. that didn't affect their life? Right. Or a song that brings back a, a memory. memory. You know? mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Right. And I want to say also, um, hey, piggyback on what you said about the school system, their um, New Manchester High School, the principal started, I saw it made the, made the news. Well, you know when you, you're exchanging classes or changing classes and you have the typical bell? They don't do that anymore. They actually let the students compose music and as long as it is um, of a certain caliber, um, he, you, can, you will hear your music playing and that is a signal to change classes. Oh, so wow. I think it's amazing um, that he's doing that. I've heard that one of the hardest words in the English language to define is the word art. Yes. And, how you define it. and I, I, I guess I have a personal definition, which is to me, it's, it's storytelling. It's communication. Art is a form of communication. You're, telling, you're, you're explaining things. I mean, there, there are so many different ways of doing that. Books, it's pretty straightforward. You're telling a story, poetry, uh, painting tells a story in two dimensions, sculpture tells in three dimensions. In architecture, to me, it's the same thing. We're telling stories. We're just using different materials. We're using steel, and stone, and glass, and brick, uh, and timber to tell our stories. As someone who makes her living from my from doing art, I, I love that this community absolutely supports it. I can't imagine working anywhere else now. 